Hello everyone and welcome back to Captain of Industry. Before we get started, let's sort out all these messages on the top. Um, so for example, we have lack of copper in the mine. Yeah, it is because of this uh, dumping backlog. Let's see, some mining designation outside mining areas. Uh, copper mine is okay. Limestone mine is okay. I think it's at the iron mine, this ramp. Yeah. Let me quick take care of that. Um, we need to set the mining tower to quickly mine out this little ramp and then we are going to send them back to their job. It should be a pretty the quick thing. Mm -hmm. And it's almost done. And that's it. We can send these guys back to mining iron. Let's go for this. Okay. They are back to work. Um which means we can actually set up these retaining walls oh, later, later, later. For now, we have these. Coal is the same thing. We need to free up some uh, vehicle capacity so we can actually dump stuff. This one is struggling to reach. Yeah. You know, I was thinking about this. I think it's perfectly okay if we mix the recycled iron scrap in with the crushed iron ore. Mm -hmm. I think it should be okay. Let's give it a try. So we are going to need... I think I will go for a simple second tier loose storage. Let's put, put it... Yeah, I will put it here. Mm, we need a U-shape conveyor, but it will feed into this one. In fact, I will make it quick build. You will store, uh, let's see, iron scrap full all the time. Which means we don't really need truck imports for these blast furnaces anymore. And that's it. Okay, what's next is limestone mine. Actually, this one is just down to throughput. Maybe it's time to add a second excavator for this one. Uh, let's see, it's right here. I will build. Yeah, from now on, I will only build big vehicles. And to help out the other trucks, I will think I will build. Hmm, yeah, let's just go for eight. Yeah, let's go for eight big trucks. Then the iron mine is struggling a little bit. So I think it's time to actually start building this retaining wall. There we go. And we can actually place... Where are they? There we go. So we can place this section. Also, I think we had, yeah, this guy. Okay, so this mining can act, uh, dumping can actually stop at this point. We need a corner going right here. There we go. So you can uh, unpause, that's it. As for this section, we need corners here. Here and here and here. Then the usual small pieces. Mm -hmm. And to cap things off, the usual long pieces go here. That's it. Unpause and we can build everything. 
Yeah, I think I will wait for them to actually mine down this area. And then I will deal with mining down. How is this area coming along? Yeah, it's coming along slowly. But we are still dumping, so it's good. Uh, let's see, what else do we need to deal with? Basically, we are just now waiting for the trucks to catch up to the jobs. And for you, you are going to go into the limestone mine. Uh, limestone mine and maybe, yeah, two more small trucks is going to be okay. So, where are you? Oh, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, I was afraid of this. We are completely boxed in the limestone mine, so we need to adjust. Mm, yeah, this one. I will do this with Unity. There we go. Quick deliver everything. Then I will need to build a ramp. Let's just go for a small ramp. Uh -huh. Let's quick build. Uh, okay, we don't have... Hmm. We don't have blocks, as it turns out. But as soon as this one goes above 40, we should be okay. And that's it. So, now we just need to hook up these two ends and that's it. Um, we need a flat conveyor belt. Go down to ground level. Go under the ramp and then connect up to this one. So far so good. Let's just unpause you and the pipe basically the same. Yeah, so you go under the bridge here and connect up to this one. And unpause. In fact, can I quick build? Yes, I can, at least the pipe. And here comes the excavator, perfect. You are going to concentrate on limestone, please. And what is your problem? That's it. Okay, so everything is back to normal, at, uh, at least. Yeah, we are still waiting for trucks. Not much I can do about that except for waiting. Let's see what can I be built today. Um, let's see. In terms of research. Yeah, I think I will go for this one like this and then go for research four. Uh -huh. Can I do anything on the map? I technically I think I can take on these guys. Let's see what that does. Um, Trucks are still struggling. Let me quick deliver what we can so we can speed things along. Now, I think we can actually help out these guys if I build a conveyor belt from the iron smelter to the different users. Let's see, what is using actually iron plates? Mm -hmm. The vehicle production facility the steel this one is iron yes what about you concrete slab what's the problem with there I'm fairly confident we can take these guys so we are lacking hmm? let's see we have sand we have Brush slag, we have cement, which means we are. Oh, water, okay. Mm. We are feeding these from these guys. I think I will just build a couple extra and that's it. Let's see, one, two, and three. Of course, we are going to need 
piping. And don't forget to build. And we can do everything by with Unity, that's it. This should speak things a little bit with concrete block production. Truck cannot reach destination. What is your problem? Oh yeah, I told you. Mm, do not import. In fact, not auto, I will completely turn it off. Okay, location explored. Of course, we have a coal mine. How much is it inside? I can't see it yet. I think we can take these guys too. This one, no. And I don't want to risk this one. But I think these guys we can take. Let's give it a try. Although we just came out of a bottle, but I think it's going to be okay. Anyways, this warehouse is completely full, so what do what needs iron? So this one needs it. Uh, this one no wait. This one needs it, the middle one. Yes, this is the mechanical part. This one needs it as well. So can we take these guys? Let's see? Yeah, I think it's going to be okay. Done and done. Okay. We have radar system too. Okay, good to know. Can I do anything else? Not really. We need to go home. So next up. Next up is going to be the Iron main line basically. So we need a flat conveyor bot two coming out of this guy. Let's bring it all the way to level three straight away. And it will run parallel with the comb line, I think. Mm -hmm. There we go, and we'll bring it along this way. Okay, I will terminate it here. Let's see, for, so nothing needs it around here. This still is also working with raw resources. What else, what else, what else? Oh yeah, we ran out of uh, concrete blocks because of this retaining wall. That's why. Mm, yeah, let's just concentrate on the iron. So we know this one needs it. So we can continue this one this way on level three, preferably. Oh yeah, it it is trying to avoid this connection so we can press F to make it disregard it. Let's just continue this way. Mm -hmm. I will terminate it at the same point as the call main line. There we go. So this guy is an iron storage. Yes, that's it. Also, we can start building the main line basically at this point. In fact, we can quick build. Perfect. So, flat conveyor bot goes into this guy. Yes, this middle one. Yes. Let's bring this one out. Let's connect up. Yeah, connect up here. That's going to be okay. What about you? This is... You know, we don't need this one. Mm-hmm. Anything here? No, this one is okay. Anything special happening around this part? Oh yeah, we need for for the vehicle part assembly. Also, why is this post? Please don't be. And we can also 
quick build some of these if you can. What's your problem? Hmm. For some reason, these guys got posed. Please don't be posed. Anyways, so let's not forget, we need to hook this guy up as well. You will go and come out this way. Mm. Let's do this and maybe we can connect up. We had a connection. Mm. Sure, why not? Can I quick build? Yes, I can. Perfect. Did anything get paused? Of course it did. Thank you, that's done. And please don't be paused. Okay, now it is actually building the last, uh, last remaining stuff. So this one doesn't need, this is electronics, that's fine. In fact, I think we can... Where are we making electronics? Here. Yes. We can hook this one up to that storage. So, level 3. You are just going to feed into this guy. Come on this way. Hop over or go under, that's fine. It's still level 2, so trucks can go. And connect up. Mm. You know what, let's just connect up like this. Done. So we can quick build. That takes care of that and we are now stable, which means ore production should be picking up. Mm, it's slowly getting there. What about, for example, coal is okay, that's good. We have lots of trucks waiting, that is what I like to see. Mm, iron is perfectly okay. Limestone. Now, limestone is... Let me take a look at the uh, production graph for limestone. Uh, limestone, there you are. Yeah, we are mining more than we are using, so sooner or later it will catch up to itself. Household goods. What do we need for that? Uh, household goods. We need glass, steel and wood. We have everything for that. Mm. I mean, we are making more than enough unity at this point. So maybe later I, I will postpone this one for now. Uh, how are we on food? Vegetables? Quantity? Yeah, the downward trend is more pronounced now. And potatoes? I think it's more or less stable. In the long term, I think. That's 100 years. Yeah, I think it's fine. Um, I think... Yeah, I think I will enable crop rotation for everything except for corn. Crop rotation, this one. Yeah, that will do. Medical supplies still should be okay. Yeah, we have a overproduction by quite a bit, that's fine. Anything else? We are still dumping... Oh yes. We are dumping quite a bit in this area. Sooner or later this will be a new water production facility. This retaining wall is almost finished. After that I will... I will not bother with this hill. I will just start digging down straight away. Mm -hmm. And where can we actually start digging down? Mm -hmm. I will move the steel production sooner or later, so that's not a problem. We can build retaining walls around these guys, that's fine. 
Yeah, I think it's going to be fine. In fact, I should move the steel right now. So steel requires, let's see, where is it? Under metallurgy, yes. Blast furnace 2 creates the iron, the molten iron. It gets fed into the oxygen furnace 2. So 48 and 48, one to one to one production. We need 18 oxygen. Hmm. Same amount. I would have expected it to be double, but well, it's okay. I don't mind. That will create 24 molten steel. And for that, we need, of course, the cooled caster. Yeah, 24. Perfect. It's a one to one ratio. I think, should I build two or just one? What is the steel production these days? Steel. It is technically stable, but it was a very slow ramp up. So maybe I should build two straight away. Mm -hmm. I think I will go for two. So this is going to be the basically start the same way as this one. We can just use the other side, I think. In fact, we already have the outlets right here. Also, I started feeding it the scrap on the same line as the iron, the mot not the molten, but the crushed iron ore because it doesn't really matter which one gets fed into it. They are different storages, I think, in internally. So it doesn't really matter uh, if we have 2 million uh, iron scrap inside, it can still accept uh, crushed iron ore, so I think it's going to be okay. It just prioritizes the iron scrap production internally, that's it. So that takes care of this one. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, so still, still, still. First things first, we need to bring... You know what? We can just copy the whole thing, I think. Mm-hmm. So let me copy from here. Yes. Only the blast furnace is for now. I think I will mirror it. And these should hook up Perfectly. Yes, that's it. Uh, you can go here. So this is going to be the start of our steel production line. Yes, the... Wait, 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 wait. The slug has to go this way. Yes. Then we need two of the smokestacks. Here and here. Okay, so this one outputs the exact same amount of molten iron that we need for the oxygen furnace. Mm. I cannot really feed it because we don't have the same. Yeah, I think I will just place it here. Sure. So you go here and you go here. Don't forget to hook up the molten channel. Okay, that's so far it's one to one. This one will output um, exhaust. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sooner or later, I would like to start scrubbing that exhaust, but for now, I think I will just vent it. So smokestack this way and this way and in comes this this okay oxygen is going to be that bit with an air separator one of these guys can actually deal with two of these furnaces or this one is a wait is it a oh yeah oxygen furnace so, let's see, where can I place it that is actually fits in with the whole area? 
Mm. I think I will place it here and then place another one here and then two blast furnaces. It's going to be okay, I think. So you can go this way. Yes. We are, of course, going to vent out the nitrogen. And then we are going to pipe this one here and this one, making sure that we are actually not interfering with this output. Mm. Can I make it nicer somehow? Mm, not really. Ah, that's fine. So you go this way and... Wait. You go up here, fine lines, and you come up from there. Mm -hmm. this, will, this will work. So out comes the molten steel. At this point, I think that is all we need. So oxygen furnace 2, in comes the iron and the oxygen, out comes the molten steel and the exhaust. So far, so good. Then we need a cold caster too, which requires 12 water as well. Mm. How is the groundwater these days here? Yeah, it's still keeping up, so it's okay. Mm. Yeah, I think I, I can afford one more groundwater pump there. Sure. So we need a cold caster too, just one. I think I can route the water just fine. So you can go here and you can go here. Don't forget about the molten channel. Molten channel goes here and here. And the water is... So, can I? No, I can't, of course not. Why would I be able to do it? Yeah, I think we have to bring these back by one or move them over by one. There we go. Then the molten channel has to go over two tiles. Sure, that's fine. And this one as well. Okay, so now we can sort out the water. The water will come out from this area water groundwater pump let's just go with this one yeah single level one pipe will be fine up level three right over the power plant and into here let me finalize it this one. I think I will bring this one along up to level 3 and make this one connect up somehow if I can make it nice. Eh, this one will be okay. Sure. Let's see what I can build with Unity. There we go. And here, hmm, almost everything. Just a couple stuff. So for the, the oxygen furnaces, one cooled uh, caster and one blast furnace, that's it. And this will feed into, of course, a big storage. Yeah, let's just go for level three. Should I make it straight into it? No, I think if we want to include more of these guys, I think it would make sense to have a separate storage. Let's just put it here. Can I have Unity build? No, of course not. So, we just need to sort out the flat conveyor, but let's just use uh, love flat conveyor 2 for the speed. Can I first build? I could one. 
Anyways, we are about to finish this one. After this one is done, I will demolish this guy. Yeah, so this will sort out the steel and which means we can start planning to dig down. Where can we do it? I think the most sense makes is here, right in front of the mining tower. Mm -hmm. We just need to build a couple extra retaining walls to make sure that we are not going to interf... Oh, that's fine, because, yeah, we are going to demolish this conveyor belt as well. Yeah, the only retaining walls we need is around these storages and that's it. Everything else is going to be fine. Even the trading dock. Mm -hmm. How is this coming come along? So you are going to... Yeah, you are already doing the molten iron. Let me give this one priority. Oh, well, technically that's fine. This one and then it will feed into this one. Anything else unbuilt? That's it. We are lacking level 3 construction tools. Which is being made here. And that is because we are lacking level 2 stuff. Mm, that's not good. Can I speed this one up a little bit? Technically, I, of course, I could use boost. You know what? Let's just go for it. Boost. Boost. Okay, sooner or later this will sort itself out. Thankfully, our trucks are now stable. Maybe I should start replacing some of the older trucks. In fact, we should replace all these old excavators too. Mm -hmm. Because I think... So this one actually takes up... 6 in one scoop. And this one takes up 20. Mm. Yeah, this is more than twice as efficient as the old ones. Also, what is the fuel consumption? 2.3 and this one is 1. It's more or less congruent with the actual extraction capacity. Is it congruent the right word? I hope it is. Anyways, we have settlement decorations. Maybe I will later take a look at that. Anyways, I think I will build two of these guys. Replace these two and maybe two of these. How is this one actually doing? Maybe I should start digging down one more level here. Mm -hmm. Let's do it right now. So one, two, three, four, five. That is all we need. I will stop digging everywhere else. You guys take care of this ramp. I will then build the retaining walls and then start digging properly. Let me know when you're done. Uh, let's see. How's it still doing now? It is almost ready to go. So we have steel coming out of this one, that is great. We are basically using Unity for this guy. So this one is actually as efficient as one of these facilities, this one of these lines. So with this one we are basically doubling our production. Which is pretty good. Can you actually move? Yes you can. This one will sort itself out sooner or later, so I'm not that bothered. How's the code doing? 
You know, I, I really wish I had access to retaining walls sooner. Because I am not a fan of how this one looks. If we had retaining walls, it would look so much nicer. But we are going to fill this in anyway, so it's not a big issue. How far is it digging down? It's almost done. In fact, we can start placing some of the walls. Uh, let's see, retaining walls, long ones. Let's place two of these now. Almost, there we go. One and two. Can I quick build one? Yes. That's all, that's fine. Unpause the rest. It will get built sooner or later. How deep is this mine at this point? Maybe I shouldn't bother digging backwards, just dig forwards, I think. Mm -hmm. And I am really contemplating importing some coal at this point. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Diesel has low storage. How is that for production these days? Uh, diesel. D for diesel. There you go. So 100 years. The quantity is stable. And production... 120 months. I think it should be okay. It basically gets emptied out a little bit extra if we are going out for a mission, but that's it. You know what? I think I will hook this line up to the fuel store, uh, the fuel station. From here, it will go this way. Then go up to level 3. This is going to be a temporary line. You go and hook up right there. And then quick build if I can. Yes, I can. Perfect. And then I will quick, uh, quickly get rid of these two. Also, we need to sort this one out because this one is going towards the wood importer docks. And the other one as well, the oil station. Also, we don't have oil here. Why don't we have oil? What is your problem? You are emptying. Perfect. Okay. We get fed into these guys. But we are not storing it for some reason. It gets used immediately. I think it's time to actually expand the diesel production. Mm -hmm. Yeah, anyway, so I will demolish these two and replace it with a big storage. Just let me remember that I set this to demolish. This one takes a little bit longer than I expected. Yeah, of course, 180. That is a lot. But I think this one is actually working okay. Yeah, the iron is coming along nicely. This way, perfect. It gets fed into where that needs to go into, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Any other place needs it? No, this one is mechanical parts. What about here? This one is steel. No, I think it's fine. Maybe I should include a couple extra storages for the animal feed because I am fairly certain we are going to use it later. In fact, I will build two of these storages. Quick and quick build. 
Do we have any construction parts here? No, not really. We have some iron ore. That is unfortunate. Maybe I should tell these guys to accept vehicle imports. So we can empty out some of the stuff from the arbor. Next up, okay, so we are done digging this guy. From now on, you are going to dig on level minus 12. Mm -hmm. Let's just go, yeah, until here, that's all. That's all I'm going to allow it to do. There we go. Also, yeah, dig right next to the ramp, that's fine. But don't go beyond this part. As for this, mm, yeah, I will dig until here and that is it for now. And maybe this part. We are concentrating on coal, so it's going to be okay. We shouldn't really dig into the beach, so that's fine. Oh yeah, the excavators. Yeah, we have only one. No, I think we have both of them here. Can you move? Yeah, we have both. So, you are going to go into the copper mine. Um, yes, and take out two of these. So, you are going to concentrate on copper ore. I think you guys can be scrapped at this point. And you are going into the coal mine. So, coal mine and take out two of these. And which one was it? Yes, this one. And I think this one, yes. You can be scrapped as well. Why don't you leave? Uh, let's see. Oh, is that gone? Okay. This actually freed up uh, two vehicles. That's it's not nothing. Truck cannot reach destination. What is your problem? This is corn. Okay, why can't you reach it? Ah, easy, easy fix. We can just route the corn this way. Okay, we can do it. Finalize here. Delete from here to here. Quick build. And then we can hook it up like... Can I please do it? Uh, okay, let's quick delete this and this. And then we can do this finally. Okay, now they can deliver the corn. That is taken care of. We are storing extra animal feed. What else? This one looks okay, I think. Yeah, medicine is completely full. Trucks cannot drop off the ore here, that is good news. Same for the coal, if they cannot drop off, that means we are overproducing, that is good news. Same goes for uh, iron, more or less. What about steel? Yeah, I think at, that, at this point I am going to demolish this guy. So... Thank you very much for your service, but at this point you are kind of in the way. It will take a little bit of time to empty everything out, but that's fine. You can demolish this one as well. In fact, I will do this with Unity. And let me hook it up properly this time. 
So level two and then hook it into this one. Quick build. Now it's a much more pleasing arrangement. So this one is getting demolished and this one is working as intended. Please keep this one empty all the time. Basically, if you can export, please do so. And we have basically doubled our steel production. Perfect. And I think at this point we can start digging down. Maybe we should, let's see, build a quick temporary line going from this one into this storage. There we go. So we can empty it out quickly. Set priority for emptying this one to level one. So coal will get used from here first. Excavator cannot reach destination. What is your problem? Okay, we have boxed this guy in as well. Okay, easy fix. We can set a ramp here. Uh, let's see. Building four vehicles, small ramp. There we go. Quick build, yes, thank you. So, you are going to go through here. You know what, I think we need to trim these back a little bit more. And might as well do it on the other side, just to be on the safe side. There we go, quick build. And then U-shape conveyor two. You are going to go through the middle. And then go back up. And then we need two flat conveyor twos. You are going to go on this side, hook up here, and you are going to go, in fact, I will bring this one a little bit closer to the others. Mm -hmm. You are going to go Mm, come on. Go up to level 3, then go down to level 1, under the bridge, and then go up to level 3 again and hook up to this one. That's fine. Quick build. Did he actually make it? I think so. But how? Because I think it's still block boxed in, no? No, wait, we can go around here. Technically, I think we can actually fit through here, so it's fine. But just to make sure, I think I will build one more ramp here. And this will be the last thing we do today. Because we are out of time. So a quick build, quick, quick, quick. Buildings for vehicles, ramp. Let's just go place it here. Quick build. Yeah, I need to trim this back a little bit more. There you go. Let's just go. Yes, that's it. Quick and quick. We are going to have the. What is your problem? Please go away. Thank you. So we are going to have a conveyor, no, a flat conveyor, but going through here. And a U-shaped conveyor goes through here. Now we just need to hook them up to the respective lines. And that is it. Also, please don't worry about interfering with this splitter. There we go, you can hook up to this one, and you can hook up to this one. Nice and easy. Oh, wait. There we go. 
And we have Research Lab 4. What do we need for that one? Dismiss, recipe book, research, no, lab equipment, yes. Lab equipment 3. We need, that's it, just glass. Huh, that's cool. Okay. Eh, I really want to do it now, but yeah, I think I will leave it for the next episode. Oh yeah, before we go. We have a big diesel storage to build. Uh, quick, quick, quick. Uh, where is it? It's, you know, it's in here. Fluid storage 3. And we have the correct inlet and outlet already arranged. Perfect. Quick build. Yes, thank you. This should allow us to monitor the actual diesel production a little bit more closely. There we go. So is this actually filling up? Only time will tell. So I will give it a couple of months and then I will come back to it because I will really need to keep an eye on it. Anyways, this storage is also done. I'm still getting distracted. I need to end the episode. Okay, so in the next episode we are going to start digging down in the iron mine. Maybe you can expand this area for copper. By the way, what do we need for copper smelting in the blast furnace 2? Uh, blast furnace 2. Sand. Oh, that's easy enough. So, stop being distracted. And please just say that thank you for watching. If you like the video, you can leave a like, leave a comment and maybe subscribe to the channel if you want. And until next time, I will see you later. Bye-bye.